You're creating valuable content, and if all is going well, you're attracting new visitors to your website and blog. Beyond getting direct inquiries about your products or services, you should use visitors' interest to build your email list so you can stay in contact with these potential prospects. Here are 14 types of opt-ins you can use to grow your mailing list. General opt-in. First, let's look at the types of opt-ins you can use on your main website. Number one, squeeze page. Your squeeze page is a landing page with one goal, to encourage visitors to subscribe to your email list. The best way to ensure conversions from your squeeze page is to focus on something that visitors would receive once they subscribe. Number two, toolbar. Have you seen at the top of pages the toolbars that disappear when you scroll up or scroll with you down the page? Those can be used for opt-in forms as well. They are great for website owners who want to put their opt-in form first without pop-ups. Number three, header. If you want to go for a bolder approach, a header opt-in may be the answer. These are designed to take up more real estate so they can't be missed. Header opt-ins can be created with WordPress plugins like Plugmatter and website templates or themes designed with header opt-in forms. Number four, Footer. Toolbars can be added to the bottom of your website as well as the top to capture opt-ins. Alternatively, you can place an opt-in form in the footer of your website to ensure that those who have made it to the bottom don't leave without giving you their email address. Number five, slide-in. Slide-ins create the movement of a pop-up without being a pop-up. Hence, they get noticed, especially when they are timed properly. They need to give people enough time to decide if they like your website, but not so much time that the visitor has already left. Number six, pop-up. The pop-up is one of the most familiar opt-in forms lately, and for good reason. Even the data scientist of HubSpot found that it increases email opt-ins without hurting anything else. Number seven, exit intent. For those who do not want to interrupt visitors until they are ready to leave, there are pop-ups based on exit intent. These pop-up tools detect when someone is trying to navigate away from your website and, at that moment, launch your pop-up for an email opt-in. Number eight, content recommendations. Developing smarter content recommendations and paths for visitors provides more content option considerations, a clear content path, preview ability before opting in, and the opportunity to consume multiple pieces of content on the same page. It allows you to add content, hubs, and paths. You can combine the content with exit intent, pop-ups, slide-ins, and other ways to increase content consumption and conversions. E-commerce opt-in. Next, let's look at how you can get your online store to help build your email list. Number nine, discount pop-up. E-commerce stores can use discounts as the lead magnet for their opt-ins. Most tools that will allow you to create a pop-up at a specific time or when exit intent is detected will allow you to use this discount opportunity as opposed to an offer for a free ebook or newsletter. Just be sure to immediately give the discount code, either on screen or via email. Number 10. Order checkbox. It's quite common for e-commerce stores to include a little completed checkbox to add a customer's email to the mailing list once a purchase is made. You should consider adding this to your checkout process as well. Blog opt-in. Now, let's look at opt-ins that work specifically with blog content. Number 11, sidebar. The top right of your blog sidebar is prime real estate for opt-in forms. Many people who are ready to subscribe to your email list will naturally look for it there. So even if you are using other opt-in form types, make sure this one is on your blog as well. Number 12, content upgrade. If you have a great blog post that can be enhanced by a free giveaway, then consider making a content upgrade accessible for readers once they opt in. For example, if you have a post on keyword research, the content upgrade that entices the opt-in would be a spreadsheet template for organizing your research. Or you could simply include a lead magnet that is highly relevant to your post topic. Number 13, post footer. Once people have finished reading a great piece of content, they are more likely to be inclined to subscribe to your email list so they don't miss out on another great piece of content. This is why the post footer option is a great one. 
You can use it with a lead magnet offer or offer simple messaging that says people who subscribe can get more similar content delivered to their inboxes. Number 14. Comment Checkbox When people leave a comment on your blog, chances are they are leaving an email address with that comment. MailChimp offers a WordPress plugin that allows you to add a checkbox to your comment form and contact form so people can subscribe to your email list simultaneously. Opt for a better opt-in strategy. As you can see, there are many ways to encourage people to opt into your email list from your website or blog, or even in the checkout process. While you don't want one opt-in form from overlapping with another, you do want to use multiple opt-in form types so that you connect with people ready to subscribe to your email list the moment they are ready. Adding just a few of the above options is likely to increase the size of your email list substantially.